with two fat spots on my forehead and a white see-through top that I literally bought yesterday for 20 quid. It's see-through. Yay! Anyway, Owen started his new job today and I'm super proud of him. So can everyone just say like, well done Owen in the comments because um, he started his new plumbing apprenticeship today and I'm like beyond proud of him. I can't wait for him to get home and he's like tell me everything but yeah he literally finishes work in three minutes so um he'll be back at like five i'm pretty sure but also since owen started this new job um i won't see him as much now so what i'm thinking about i'm gonna start doing which you guys can also give me some recommendations of like things i can do to like spare my time and things like that when i'm not like obviously working i'm thinking i know amelie does pilates uh, pilates whatever you pronounce it like and she says she loves it and it like keeps her fit and well and makes her happy so i found this one quite near to me and i'm thinking i might start it so i'm thinking i'll do um pilates monday and then have a day off and then go to the gym on monday no go to pilates monday have a day off go to the gym on wednesday uh have a day off then pilates friday i think i work pretty well and then in but oh bloody hell and then in between them days i can just make content for you guys and like also record what i do at the gym and also what i do at pilates because people find that really really interesting i know i find that what i do to create content right a lot of people ask me this so i never answer the question but what i do to create content is i literally think about what like i would enjoy watching so like it might not be everyone's cup of tea but i know i enjoy watching it i know there'll be someone else there who out there who will enjoy watching it too so i just think oh i'd love to like watch like come with pilates with me or like uh, watch someone get ready and see all the products they use i'll look at them and they'll be like i'm gonna make that because that's what i'd want to watch but also just to help me out comment down below what you'd want to see i did a little poll on my instagram i've been really active on my re I, uh, uh, i've been really active on my instagram lately just because a lot of people are on there and i forget how many people actually look at my instagram so i've been really active on there as well it's literally just to learn that if anyone's wondering but yeah i've just been proper active at the minute and i'm loving it i'm really getting into a routine and it's making me happy i'm gonna use a little bit of this nars pot concealer just on them spots in my void because they are still there and it's gonna irritate me so much every time i open my snapchat camera and i see them two mighty flipping spots on my forehead it's gonna pee me off so bloody much this stuff is so good i need to get a deeper shade as i am quite tan now but it's literally like you can't even see them anymore mine's in the shade custard medium one custard and it's honestly unreal i love nice pot concealer now i'm gonna do some lip liner and then i'm done oh my god so i'm just like how pretty is that lip liner then i'm gonna go with my ysl lipstick which just gives it a nice glossy matty finish look gorgeous Ugh. just gonna do my hair then i'll be back queen see you in a sec okay guys i've done my hair and it's such a fucking sled i used the new ghd duet blowout look how flipping sick this looks i'm gonna have to hairspray it. i don't want to hairspray it i'm gonna hairspray it oh my god it looks sick anyway i'm gonna go so i love you and i'll see you all later bye guys lots of love to tan in scarlet's garden so it's currently 10 minutes until 12 o'clock and the uv is like seven or eight today and it's 30 degrees so we're gonna tan i have just done all my skincare i think i'm done i already did everything i'm just gonna put a bit of sunscreen on do you want to use my stuff i brought my stuff just for you scarlet my scarlet got a new bed i'm sleeping around scarlet's house and we can never sleep in her room because she's always had a single bed but now she's got a double bed and i did jump on it because she always jumps on my bed yeah i'm matching teddies around there i'm matching jelly cats even though i did fling hers can off of yeah. wait badge up scarlet oh no you still can't see it but we'll show you them at the end they're so cute yeah <laughs> look see there that's bonnie and that's love scarlet's one is love and mine is bonnie and they're literally cousins and they're the cutest things ever and i'm gonna i'm just doing some sunscreen and then i'm gonna use scarlet's eyebrow gel and i'm literally all done and i am wearing scarlet's top as well because what's hers is mine i want my eyebrows load before i get it waxed so they need to look like bad hair and everywhere i'm gonna do that thing i need it to be Anyway, um, specific. 
like you know when it's like all lined up. They have all the lines. I want to get my eyebrows done. We should get our eyebrows done together. I know you've already said this, but we need to find a good person. We're also gonna make bubble tea later because we've got these bubble tea kits. So we're gonna make bubble tea, and it's gonna be really fun. Fun. I forgot to bring my eyelash curler. I knew I was gonna forget something. I forgot my eyelash curler. So I'm using Scarlett's smelly one, and I'm all done. Uh, I'm gonna take you over to Scarlett's perfume. Where's all your perfumes gone? Okay, we're at Scarlett's. Perfume. Try. She's got coconut passion, and I love coconut passion, so I'm gonna use coconut passion. This is what summer smells like, and I love it. I like coconut rice and milk too. Coconut milk and rice. That's Okay, bye y'all. Get ready with me because my boyfriend's coming around. So I'm just gonna start off by curling my eyelashes. Uh, I'm not gonna put any mascara on though because every single time my mascara just smudges. Like it's so bad, I need to get a new one. But I don't really know which mascara to get because I like my mascara to be really clumpy and that's why I love the princess lash dress and something like that, that one. Um, but the only problem is it smudges like crazy. I'm gonna go in and fill my eyebrows a bit. This is the Benefit brow pomade. Change of plan, I can't be bothered to do that. But I'm gonna go in with a little bit of contour now. Bronzer, contour, I don't know, same thing. I'm sad to get my brush dirty actually because I decided to brush my, no, wash my brushes after never washing them because apparently it can cause like spots and stuff. So I thought I'd just do that, you know. But yeah, we're just doing that. I didn't put a lot on because I don't really want to wear much to be fair because um, it's hot. But now I'm gonna do some blush a little bit just here. Just to make me look like I actually have some colour in my face. And I'm adding a bit of concealer. I can't find any lip balm. This is the closest thing I can find. Oh, it's brand new as well. So I'm just putting a bit of this Vaseline on my lips. And that's what I'm going to do. Bye, guys. Get ready with me for the day. So I've currently been filming a YouTube video. I'm going to be filming it all today. And it's going to be 30 degrees. What the hell? Finally, the UK weather is getting good. Uh, I want you. So I don't really know what I'm doing today. Like, I'm filming a video day in my... Well, it's not a day in my life, but it's like... You'll guys see what it is once it's posted. Um, but yeah, I'm not going out with friends, but I feel like I want to go on a walk. I don't know whether to go on it today because it's sunny or, like, in the evening because the sunset and it's just aesthetic. I've got the cutest outfit on today. I'll show you guys it at the end. Um, but yeah. Also, I'm getting my hair done on Saturday, so I'm so excited for that. Um... But, I literally, it feels like we've been on um, the summer holidays for so much longer than it has. Like, I can't believe last week, last, today, last week, I was at school. Oh. Like, I feel like I've done so much already. Right, anyways, I'm going to use my Laneige lip mask. Blah. Guys, I can't lie, I feel like I want to put lashes on. Do I do it? I think these are the lashes I wore last time. And they were really nice, I think. I'll try them and see. These lashes ape up. Ignore the fact that I have my headphones on, right? Because I'm listening to music while seeing this. Oh, um, actual G. Guys, I just finished my lashes. Oh my gosh, they're actually so nice. Um, I don't even know where these are from. Maybe this is what they look like, and it says ye do ye do on it. Honestly, yeah, these are the lashes, and they literally. I don't know, these are the best lashes I've ever used. Low key, something to feel like it. But, anyways, I'm now ready. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, bye guys. Hey guys, I look scary. The early morning videos are officially back. Guys, it is currently 5 a.m. I do not need to be up this early, but I can't sleep. I woke up at 4 and I couldn't fall back asleep and then like 20 minutes ago I heard a car outside and I was like it's fine whatever you know I'll just ignore it and then I heard the door open like of the car and talking and I just kind of figured it was the neighbors and they were up early for whatever reason then it's been like two three minutes and I can still hear somebody so I was like you know what I'll go look outside so I walk over to the window and I just like ever so slightly open the blinds like super tiny amount so like I don't know if someone's outside they're not gonna see me I look outside and the car is in my driveway and like drives off the second i open the blinds what was weird is they didn't leave the neighborhood they just like went to the other side of my neighborhood and like i don't live in a big neighborhood 
it's literally just a strip of road that's parallel to the street and like i can see the exit of my neighborhood from my window and they didn't leave yeah, i don't really know what that was all about i thought it was really weird but you know if that was you just now i did take a picture of your car so like mm, sucks for you anyways i have mini camp today and i wasn't gonna do my makeup for it because why would i do my makeup to go play with a bunch of elementary schoolers all day now like i said i can't sleep and doing my makeup is like low-key therapeutic so i'm doing this instead of overthinking that there's like a murder outside <laughs> like it's 5 a.m and i can't sleep so what else am i gonna do yeah it's gonna be quite a long day because i have to be at school by 8 a.m for this mini camp and then i'm there till like 12 and then after that we have greyhound madness and i just have to go pick up my parking pass and sports pass i'm pretty sure that's right when i get out of mini camp and then i have to go home and change into my uniform and then go back to school for the pep rally. And then after that, I'm an ambassador for the freshmen. So me and a bunch of other people are leading the freshmen around the school, if you would, and like, I don't really know how to explain it. You just kind of lead them around, show them where everything is and give them like a welcome to the school. And then that should be over by like six or seven o'clock maybe. And then finally I'll be able to go home, eat dinner, change out of my uniform. And then one of my friends is having a back to school party. And I think that's at like eight or nine. And then from there, we're all spending the night at somebody else's house, and I have to be back at school by 8 a.m. the next morning. So yeah, it's definitely a busy day. Anyways, I'm done. Bye! Hey guys, get ready with me for school. Okay, ignore my room. Like, it's actually a mess right now. Um, But I've been super busy with school, so I just, like, haven't had time to clean it. Also, sorry, I haven't posted in, like, a week almost. I just, like, never have time in the morning, like, before school to make get ready with me, so... I still don't have time right now, but whatever. I'm always scared to like put hyaluronic acid on because like it always peels my makeup. So hopefully it doesn't do that this time. Okay, also like the weirdest thing happened to me and my friends yesterday. So like we were just in the hallway and I was just getting stuff from my locker. And these random guys like came and took a picture beside us. And then they like went away and then they came back and they like did like a 0.5. And they just like walked by and they just like held up their phone. And then I was just like, what are you doing? Like, I didn't even have a chance to, like, react to this whole situation because they just, like, walked away. I was just like, guys, what's going on here? Okay, also, something else happened that was kind of weird. So, like, basically, my science class, like, is right after lunch. So, like, I'll just sometimes go and drop my stuff off, like, in the classroom before class starts. So then I walk into the class to drop my stuff off. And there's, like, a big group of guys. Like, some of them were in my class and some of them weren't even in my class. Like, I don't know where they came from. But, like, when I walked in, they were all, like, it was dead silent. And then I walked in, they're all, like, oh, like, I told you so. And like, they were all saying stuff like that. And it was just me in the classroom with them. And I was, like, what are you guys even, like, talking about? And I think it was because one of the, like, this one guy of, like, a part of that group who's in the class, he used to like me. And I think it was, like, something to do with that. Like, maybe he likes me again. I don't know. But, like, it was, they were talking about me. But I just don't know, like, what they were saying. Okay, also, sorry guys, I'm like updating you on all the drama that's been happening, but basically, um, this one guy, he's kind of like my hallway crush, like, if you have a hallway crush, you know, but like, I don't actually really like, like him, well, I don't know if I like him or not, but, um, anyways, so he always like, we always make this like, eye contact like in the hallways, and then he texted me last night, he's like, hey Autumn, like, I just wanted to let you know that like, I like you, so I don't really know what to do about that. And I also don't really know how to, like, respond because, like, he knows that I know that he likes me. Like, all of his friends have already told me that he likes me. So I can't say, like, oh, really? But I also can't say, like, oh, I know because, like, that's just weird. So, guys, I need help with responding because I do not know what to say. Okay, now I'm kind of running late, so I have to, like, hurry this whole process up. Oh, my God. Okay, also just use some of my L'Oreal concealer. And, guys, I have to hurry. Okay, also, I'm not going to do a contour today because I feel like that's what's making me, like, break out. Because I'm breaking out all along, like, my hairline where I'd, like, normally put it. And, like, on the side here, like, that's where I would, like, put the contour. So, we're just going to skip that today. But, like, I've been breaking out in the most weird spots. Like, I have a pimple, like, right there. And I've never had a pimple there before. So, I don't really know what's going on. Okay, also, the most embarrassing thing happened yesterday um, in my English class. So we have like our chairs stacked on top of the tables, like, cause it's first period for me. And okay, this is really hard to explain if you like weren't there. Some people were there, obviously they saw it, but I went to go like take my chair down from the table and I accidentally like hit the chair behind me and it, it was so embarrassing. It like fell and it was like the loudest thing ever. And everyone was just like 
staring at me and the teacher was like laughing at me and then i had to go pick up this stupid chair that fell off like it was so embarrassing so guys please if you were there don't keep reminding me of that okay also it's kind of like funny how like my makeup started with mascara and then concealer and then blush and then like all this stuff and it's just funny how it all like adds up over time like how many products you use because like i never used to use contour but like now i feel like i can't go without contour like i feel like i look so pale right now okay while my lash primer is drying i'm just gonna brush my brows out with this dried up glossier brow gel oh my gosh you guys i completely forgot to set my concealer um it's fine we'll just do it now some days i like to use a brush and then other days i like to use like the powder puff but today i'm feeling a brush okay ignore the fact that there's like green face paint on this um we had a football game and I put face paint on and then it just like got everywhere, so. Okay, I'm also just gonna do a bit of powder blush over top of my liquid blush. I know it seems like a lot now, but for some reason, like when I get to school, my blush just like disappears. Like I look so pale. Okay, this is my mascara combo. Um, Sky High, this Essence one, and then Telescopic. And my lashes look so good today. Anyways, I'm just gonna do a tiny bit of Vaseline on my lips and I have to go because I'm already running late. Okay, and I'm also gonna clean up the mascara on my eyelids. Okay, my makeup is done, and now I'm just brushing out my hair because it's crazy. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys. Love you. Get ready with me for my last night here in Nantucket. I'm here with Ali, and we're hey. getting ready for dinner. Tonight, we're eating at Millie's. It's like 5.30 right now, and we're meeting downstairs at 7 for pictures. We just wanted to get ready early because we have anxiety. Ali just went to the bathroom to do some of her makeup. I just got my foundation all over my hand. Anyways, what I was going to say is that I've had such an amazing time here with ColourPop. I am so happy that they brought me along on this trip and gave me even like this cute little robe. I really hope that I don't get anything Oh, I did. Okay. We had an amazing day. We had a little late breakfast. And then Allie and I went to walk to get coffee, which I don't really drink coffee often, so that was kind of crazy. Then once everyone else was awake and downstairs, we headed to the beach. It was so nice how they set it up for us. We took so many pictures and we were playing like little games like Jenga, Cornhole, the whole nine. I made myself the most amazing taco with just steak and sour cream in true Caitlyn fashion. That's all I always do. ColourPop has just been so amazing to us on this trip. I love all the girls here and I love all of the ColourPop people. They're actually the best. The beach was a super foggy, gloomy day, but it was so nice to have. Yesterday we did breathing work at the yoga place we were at and that carried over into today. So I was really vibing in the like gloomy beach. You could hear the waves, it was so nice. ColourPop set up these little pillow seats in the sand so we could eat our food like on the ground and it was so nice. And then we had little cabanas that I sat in and literally almost fell asleep because I was listening to the waves. Once we were done there, we went back to the hotel and I have been here ever since. Some of the girls went out to do some more shopping, but I took a much needed shower. And I've just been relaxing and editing, but now it is time to go back out and enjoy our last night here. I am so excited for dinner. I'm really hungry right now. ColourPop was nice enough to set up little snacks in our room. They gave me Flaming Hot Cheetos and best believe I already got into them. Just every place they've taken us so far has been above and beyond and just so pretty in pink, which we know I love pink. I'm honestly so sad to be leaving tomorrow. I have enjoyed myself so much on this trip. I just like don't want to go back home, but I'm going to school like three days after I get home, so it's okay. Oh, where did my... Wait, what? What are you looking for? Oh my gosh, my mascara. Allie and I were just talking about how this is our last night here, which means we don't know when we're going to see each other next. We literally just met a couple months ago on our last trip together, and this is our second time ever being together. And now we just have no idea when I'm going to see her next because I go to school and like I don't have breaks, you know? We just went ahead and put on our outfits, but we're going to go ahead and head downstairs and go to dinner and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys! into Lana Del Rey. Specifically this picture from her skim shoot. It is so beautiful. Starting with the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. I am obsessed with this stuff. Always in love with Lana's look. I've been itching to recreate one and you guys have been suggesting her for some time now so I'm really excited. Going in with the Makeup by Mario foundation. I even straightened my hair a little bit for this which I haven't done in months so it's so weird to see me with straight hair. I'm contouring with this Nude Sticks in Bondi Bay. My nose is the cutest little button nose. I'm gonna do a little circle at the tip of my nose to emulate that. I loved this look because 
it's nice and soft and pink and i feel like a lot of my recreations recently have been intense bold eye so i'm excited for like a soft pink eye today with this house labs concealer i'm gonna start with this fair rosy shade for the inner corner shade 20 for the rest of the eye shade 23 around my mouth blend i always blend out the eyes last so we're gonna start from the bottom up I only recently started listening to her music and i am definitely a big fan but i still have so many that i haven't listened to so comment down below which is your favorite lana del rey song that i need to listen to or i'm liking what i'm hearing but i need to listen to more for blush i'm going to take some of this kylie cosmetics blush stick in the shade breakfast in bed i'm going to start putting that on the apples of my cheeks and then blend upwards this is a nice baby doll pink color perfect for this look set the under eyes i'm going to use some of this huda beauty and cherry blossom it's like a pink powder i'm going to set those under eyes pound cake to set the rest of the face like my t-zone the Too face dark chocolate bronzer i'm just going to bronze up the face a bit of course have to go over the nose contour for blush mac the shade of pink swoon the shade of pink is perfect perfect for this look. I love rolling the brush onto my cheek. I feel like it just helps for that distribution. Now for the eyes, I'm going to take this Too Faced palette, shade Golden Hour, and a fluffy brush. I'm going to start putting this in my crease using a windshield wiper motion, like so. This is going to act as my transition shade. Shade Chai Times. I'm just going to deepen up the outer corner a bit, just slightly and not too dark. With a tiny smudge brush, I'm going to take this shade right here. Her eyes are more hooded than mine. Her crease seems very defined and dark, so I'm going to try my best to do that. I just slow Slowly outlining the crease this smudger brush tiny fluffy brush i'm gonna start smoking that out so there's no harsh lines now that the crease is nice and dark i'm gonna take the lightest shade i'm gonna start packing this on my lid almost kind of cutting that crease that way my whole lid is nice and bright now with the darkest shade i'm gonna use an angled brush to do a wing i'm gonna take this across my eyelid stamping it in also gonna connect it and take it across my lower lash line like hers like so. And then finish off the eyes with this Hourglass Mascara. I'm gonna take some of this Pat McGrath Labs Baby Pink Under Eye Powder and just wipe this underneath my eyes to brighten everything up. For the lips, I'm gonna start by lining it with the Makeup Forever Lip Liner in Limitless Brown. On some of that same blush that we used to match it to the lips. And then with the YSL Beauty Glow Lip Balm, I'm gonna put that over top. And there you go. This is my Lana Del Rey inspired makeup look. Absolutely love the way this one came out. Let me know what you guys think and let me know who I should recreate next. Ready with me, night one in Mykonos. We're here for John's birthday and we're all staying in this big house together. We're doing dinner and then we're gonna go out and celebrate after. I feel like we're on Love Island right now in this big house. I'm coupled up with Sally currently. <laughs> How are you ready? What are you doing? Oh, is Ashton wearing a long dress? Yeah. But it's all like... Oh, Ashton, you look so good! You be ouch. Oh, it's house. It's giving Laura's here. So excited for this week though and going out here. Like my favorite part of my trip with my girlfriends last year was when we went to Mykonos. We had a pretty long travel day. We were on two flights, but I feel like it went like pretty smoothly. Always anticipating like losing a bag, missing the connecting flight, but we all got here. So we got to this house first today and everyone else like just arrived. We're all getting ready. It's crazy that I met John almost like a year ago today. And he really is just like the kindest, nicest person ever. But I actually have no idea what we're doing on this entire trip. So we just kind of brought outfits for whatever. Jackson just texted me that he lost seven pounds today at practice. I don't know how they practice in the Miami heat right now. All right, time to get dressed. Night one. Bye.